April 28, 2018, marks the fifth anniversary of Jano Starker's death. For those of you who are here for the first time and may be unfamiliar with Mr. Starker, let me, Tony Baker, welcome you as I remember him and his music-making legacy. Mr. Starker was born in Budapest, Hungary on July 5, 1924, the son of a tailor. He began his musical training in Budapest, eventually attending the Franz Liszt Academy as a child prodigy. At this time, he also began teaching at the age of eight. Mr. Starker survived internment in a Nazi work camp, emerging from World War II to become one of the most beguiling authoritative cellists of all time. Before establishing his international reputation, circa 1948, after receiving the Grand Prix de Disc for his Paris recording of Zoltan Kodai's Sonata for Solo Cello, Mr. Starker served as the first solo cellist for the Budapest Opera and Philharmonic. In the late 1940s, Mr. Starker immigrated to the United States and became a U.S. citizen several years later. During this time frame, he not only played with the Dallas Symphony Orchestra, the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra, and the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, but was also engaged as a chamber musician. In 1958, he joined Indiana University and began in earnest both his solo performing career and teaching career. At the height of his solo career, Mr. Starker performed in as many as 100 concerts a year. He was familiar with almost the entire cello repertoire, performing and or recording more than 165 works including compositions by Beethoven, Brahms, Haydn, Debussy, Mozart, Bartok, Elgar, Dvorak, Popper, and Schubert. However, for many, it was Mr. Starker's interpretations of the Bach cello suites that are most memorable, his late 1990s BMG RCA recording winning him a Grammy. Mr. Starker drew critical acclaim for his lack of physical emotional display while performing, unlike rival musicians who appeared to embellish their performances with theatrics. Mr. Starker once commented on the assessment of critics who were unfavorable to his style, stating that he was, quote, not an actor, unquote. Mr. Starker continued teaching until shortly before his death. For those of you interested in more details regarding Mr. Starker's life, you may find his autobiography, The World of Music According to Starker, Joyce Geeding's book, Jano Starker, King of Cellists, The Making of an Artist, and the book From Budapest to Bloomington, Jano Starker and the Hungarian Cello Tradition, by the Kronberg Academy, additional sources of information. Last month, Livia Rev passed away at the age of 101. According to Mr. Starker's autobiography, Ms. Rev was one of the earliest pianists he played with in Budapest. Coincidentally, they both were born on July 5th, although Ms. Rev was Mr. Starker's senior by eight years. According to the 14 May 1956 issue of the Times of London, as well as Mr. Starker's autobiography, Ms. Rev was Mr. Starker's pianist at his sold-out 1956 Wigmore Hall London debut. Regarding a concert Mr. Starker and Ms. Rev played at Goldsmiths Hall in London nearly a year later, the Times of London said, quote, they played with an almost continuous unanimity, and the effect as a whole was of fine musicianship in interpretation, and in performance playing of a consistently high order." Unquote. Some of you may be familiar with the next video I am going to show, which was taken just four years after this review in the Times of London. 
as it is available elsewhere on the internet. However, in light of Ms. Rev's recent death, I thought it would be fitting to show it here, too. She and Mr. Starker perform Asturiana from Defaya's popular Spanish suite in this short movie. George Walker is an American composer, the first African American to win the Pulitzer Prize for Music in 1996. In 1957, he composed a sonata for cello and piano, and on October 16, 1976, Mr. Starker and pianist Shigeo Nariki performed the piece in New York City. A review of the concert in the New York Times two days later stated Mr. Starker played with his, quote, customary patrician elegance, rock-solid technical control, and complete understanding of the varying stylistic requirements, while Shigeo Nariki's poised and sensitively detailed work at the keyboard provided the perfect complement, unquote. Now let's have a listen to the first movement of the sonata from that very performance. I apologize for the two brief dropouts in the sound, which comes from a reel-to-reel -reel tape that is more than 40 years old.
Villa Musica is a state foundation in Germany established in 1986 to provide special education for highly gifted young musicians from all over Europe in the field of chamber music. The foundation is also one of the biggest classical concert institutions organizing chamber music concerts all over Germany. In the 1988 season, Mr. Starker was one of the guest artists invited by Villa Musica, performing Casado's Suite for Solo Cello at Romer Hall in Bad Kruznach, Germany. Now let's listen to Mr. Starker playing the third movement of the suite at that live performance. If you listen carefully, you may be able to hear birds chirping in the background. Mr. Starker's entire performance, as well as the other guest artists from the 1988 season, is available on a CD issued by Villa Musica. The CD, translated from the German, is titled Counterpoints 1. Thank you. 
Next, I have a very short home movie. For those of you who have been to Mr. Starker's home, you will recognize the surroundings. According to the date superimposed on the video, it was taken January 8, 1991. I hope you will bear with me in watching this clip, which is of poor quality and comes from a deteriorating 8mm videotape. Unfortunately, this is all there is. However, I have posted it here as I believe it provides a rare peek at Mr. Starker practicing. Thank you. 
On 20 February 1964, Mr. Starker gave a concert at the University of Idaho. Up next, for your listening pleasure, I have an excerpt from that concert, specifically the final movement of Kodai's Sonata for Solo Cello. Enjoy! <laughs>
As I wrap up this remembrance, I want to thank Robert Batty for providing me with some technical information, as well as Mr. Starker's daughter, Gabriella, for giving me the home movie and the recordings of the Walker and Kodai performances. Without her generosity, much of this YouTube would not have been possible. Thank mm -hmm. you.